Welcome to your feel-good yoga flow to open the heart chakra. Today we will be working through postures that create space in the torso and chest as we give back to our bodies in this 30-minute practice. So if you're ready to begin, grab your mat and we'll get started. Wonderful, let's begin lying down on our mats. Bring the bottoms of the feet together and let the knees fall out to the sides. Bring your hands to your heart and close your eyes. Coming into Supta Baddha Konasana, reclined butterfly pose. Breathe here, feel the rising and falling of the chest and take this moment to set your own personal intention for our practice today. Wonderful. Let's stay here for a moment, keeping the eyes closed and bringing the mind to the breath. Take a big inhale through the nose and exhale, let it go. Inhale slowly and exhale, relax into the mat. Letting the hips warm up, letting the body prepare for our practice. Wonderful. In your next inhalation, flutter the eyes open and extend the legs along the length of the mat. Have the palms pressing into the ground. Inhale and exhale. Arch the back until the crown of your head is facing the floor. Press into the forearms and the elbows and lift the chest higher and higher, keeping the legs extended. Let's point the toes, creating fish pose, matsyasana. Allow your arms to support you and release your shoulders. This posture helps us to fight fatigue and gain confidence with this nice, easy shoulder stretch. Gaze behind you. Inhale, press into the mat. And exhale, arch higher into the sky. Your heart reaching out into the universe. Inhale, absorb all the oxygen into your body. And exhale, let go of all negativity. Inhale and exhale, release back into the mat, letting the back melt into the earth. Inhale, hug your knees into your chest, gently rock from side to side, and whenever you're ready, cross the ankles and let's roll back and forth until you're coming up to a seated position on your mat. Cross the legs under, coming into all fours. Breathe here, press the hands into the mat. Align the shoulders over the wrists and hips over the knees. Inhale and exhale, tuck the toes under and send the hips up and back into downward dog. Have the knees bent gently in this first downward dog and allow yourself to walk it out, bending one knee and sending the opposite heel into the mat. As your chest falls further and further down and the hips reach higher and higher, just doing what feels good for you in this first downward dog. Breathing easily lengthening the hamstrings. 
Well done. On your next inhalation, gaze front. Exhale, raise the heels, bend the knees, and take four steps into forward fold. Have the feet together. Pull yourself towards your shins. And exhale, bend the knees and roll all the way up to standing, arms overhead. And exhale, palms together in heart center. Anjali Mudra. Now release, coming into Tadasana, mountain pose. Open hands, open hearts. Let's do a few sun salutations to warm up our bodies and get our heart rate going. Ready, inhale, reach the arms around and up. Exhale, dive to forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, step back into plank. Inhale, move the weight forward. Exhale, take chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, hips send up and back into downward dog. Heels reaching for the mat. Hips reaching higher into the sky. And triceps rolling towards the mat. Keep those shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, look front. Exhale, raise the heels, bend the knees. And hop or step into forward fold. Inhale, pull your head to your shins and exhale, bend the knees, roll all the way up to standing, gaze up and hands to heart center. Anjali Mudra, open, Tadasana. Inhale, sweep the arms around, gaze up, exhale, hands come together as you dive to forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway, exhale, Take two steps or hop back into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Great work. Arch in that lower back slightly as you deepen the stretch of the hamstrings and send the knees to the wall behind you. Inhale and exhale, let it go. Inhale, look front, exhale, raise the heels, bend the knees, and hop or step into forward fold. Inhale, pull the head closer to your shins, exhale, bend the knees, rolling all the way up, mountain pose. Open hands, open heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive down to forward fold. Inhale, lengthen up halfway. Exhale, take two steps or hop into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Well done. Breathe here. Coming back to your intention. Coming back to the breath. Beautiful. On your next inhalation, look front. Exhale, raise the heels, bend the knees, and hop to forward fold. Inhale, pull your head to your shins. Exhale, roll all the way up to standing. Gaze up, and exhale, lower. Hands to prayer, and lower. Mountain pose. Inhale, reach the arms up, parallel to one another. Exhale, sink the hips into chair pose, Utkatasana. One line from the fingertips all the way to the sits bones. Palms facing one another. Gaze out and down. Have the weight towards the back of the feet. Inhale, straighten the legs, arch back. Exhale, palms together as you dive to forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, hop or step, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift the right leg, point the toes to the ceiling, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to chest, step between the hands and lower the back knee to the mat. Release the toes, lift the arms up, 
into Anjaneyasana, crescent lunge, palms together, fingertips pointing up and out into the universe. Inhale and exhale, hands to the mat, step back into plank. Move the weight forward and take Chaturanga Dandasana. And let's meet in downward facing dog. Wonderful. Inhale, lift the left leg, point the toes to the sky. Exhale, knee to chest, step between the hands, lower the back knee to the mat, and lift up into Anjaneyasana, crescent lunge. Creating a beautiful crescent shape with your body from fingertips to your toes, emulating that lunar energy and letting go of all that no longer serves you. Inhale and exhale, place the hands on the mat, step back into plank. Move through your flow or skip it and we'll meet in downward facing dog. Awesome. Relax into this downward dog, sending the heels to the mat, sending the sternum towards the ground. Inhale, look front, exhale, hop or step into forward fold. Inhale, pull your head to your shins, exhale, bend the knees and lift the chest up into chair pose, arms extended out of the shoulders. Utkatasana. Inhale, arch back, standing back bend, and exhale, palms to heart center, and open to Dasana. Last sun salutation. Inhale, reach the arms around and up, palms facing one another. Exhale, sink the hips into chair pose. Utkatasana. Breathe. Gaze front, inhale, arch back, standing back bend, and exhale, dive to forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway, exhale, flow or step into Chaturanga Dandasana, and let's meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg. Point the toes to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to chest. Step between the hands and lift up into high lunge. Ashta Chandrasana. Beautiful. Hands extended, fingertips reaching. Inhale and exhale. Place the hands on the mat, step back into plank. Take your flow or skip it and meet in Downward Facing Dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up, toes point to the sky. Exhale, knee to chest, step between the hands and lift up into Ashta Chandrasana. High lunge. Sink the hips lower and lower in this high lunge with the back knee reaching for the sky. Chest is up and forward. Inhale and exhale. Place the hands on the mat. Step back into plank. Vinyasa or skip it. Coming into downward dog. Inhale, look front. Exhale, raise the heels, bend the knees, and hop to forward fold. Inhale, pull your head to your shins. Exhale, bend the knees and lift the chest into Utkatasana, chair pose. Hips sinking low, weight in the back of the heels. Inhale, standing back bend. Exhale, palms together, Anjali Mudra, and lower, Tadasana. Well done. Inhale, sweep the arms around and up. Exhale, dive to forward fold. 
Inhale and clasp the hands together behind your back and let the arms fall towards the earth, creating space in the shoulders and chest and allowing yourself to be pushed further into your forward fold. Inhale, gaze at your shins. Exhale, release further into your forward fold. Breathe. Allow your heart rate to slow a little here, calming the breath, calming the mind. Inhale and exhale, release your arms gently. Place the fingertips on the mat, bend the knees, lengthen halfway. Exhale, take two steps back into plank. Inhale, move the weight forward and exhale, just send the hips back into downward dog, lengthening the hamstrings, pressing the palms into the mat. Inhale and exhale, bend the knees and lower yourself into child's pose, releasing the toes and letting your chest rest on your thighs. Inhale and exhale, roll up and walk yourself out along your mat so that you're lying on your stomach, face down. Rest your forehead on the mat and bring the arms back behind you. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Inhale and exhale, lift the chest and feet off the ground, creating locust pose. Shalapasana. Keep the legs and toes extended as you gaze front. Have the arms pulling you further and further back with the body resting on your abdomen. As we open the chest here, we are also stimulating our parasympathetic nervous system. Beautiful work. On your next inhalation, reach higher and exhale, lower yourself into the mat gently. Press the hands into the mat near your shoulders and send the hips up and back so that they're over your knees and lower the chest onto the mat, coming into puppy pose, Uttana Shishwasana. Let the forehead or chin rest on the mat let the chest fall closer and closer to the earth and allow your mind to be free from any thoughts. Just inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Chest lowers. done. On your next inhalation, gently come up out of your puppy pose and back onto all fours. Tuck the toes under and send the hips up and back into downward dog. Inhale, send the right leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, bring the knee to chest. Step between the hands and lift up into warrior one, Virabhadrasana one arms lengthening up, chest reaching forward, shoulders drawing down the back. Inhale and with each exhale deepen your warrior pose. Inhale and exhale clasp the hands together behind your back. We're going to continue to connect movement with breath here finding mobility in the upper body and stability in the lower. So let's inhale as you clasp the hands together and reach back, arch, gaze up to the ceiling and exhale, release the chest over, shoulder to knee, coming into humble warrior. Inhale, roll it up, arch back, gaze up, 
and exhale, chest lowers, Baddha Virapadrasana, humble warrior. Inhale, roll it up, chest reaches to the sky, and exhale, release, humble warrior. Inhale, hands draw you up and back, and exhale, release, Baddha Virapadrasana. Inhale, roll it all the way up, arch back, and exhale, lower down, humble warrior. Well done. Inhale, roll it all the way back up, and let's lift the arms overhead. Beautiful. On your next inhalation, gently rotate the back heel off the mat and come into high lunge. Inhale and exhale, press off the back foot and bring that knee into your chest. We're going to take eagle pose, Garudasana. So let's cross the left leg over the right and the left arm underneath the right arm, interlacing the elbows and wrists and crossing the knees and ankles if you can, bending the knees and lowering ourselves into this eagle pose. Breathe, gaze front, as we bind the arms together at our hearts, we bring awareness and activation to our heart chakra, the Anahata chakra, allowing us to become compassionate to ourselves and others, and allowing us to find balance and serenity within. On your next exhalation, release your eagle pose. Bring the knee back to your chest, arms overhead, and step back into high lunge. Reach up to the ceiling and plant the hands to the earth. Inhale, step back into plank. Exhale, take Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog, and exhale, downward dog. Wonderful. Inhale, lift the left leg up to the ceiling, point the toes, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the knee to chest, step between the hands, and lift the chest into warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. Arms up to the ceiling, shoulders sliding down the back, gaze front, deepen your warrior pose with each breath. Inhale, clasp the hands together behind your back as we begin to find movement in our breath once again. Inhale, arch back, lift the chest to the ceiling. Exhale, fold over into humble warrior. Inhale, drawing back up with the abdominals, arch back, gaze to the ceiling. Exhale, release over into humble warrior. Inhale, draw it back up, arch back, heart to the sky, and exhale, release forward with the chest, Baddha Virapadrasana. Inhale, reach back, exhale, humble warrior. Inhale, roll it up, heart to the sky, exhale, Baddha Virapadrasana. Inhale, roll it back up, and exhale, release the arms, coming into warrior one. Inhale, and on your exhalation, lift the back heel off the mat, and rotate into high lunge, Ashta Chandrasana. Inhale, and exhale, press off the back foot, knee to chest. Cross the right leg over the left and right arm underneath the left arm, taking eagle pose, Garudasana. Interlace the wrists and ankles if it's within your practice and gaze front, finding your balance, 
focus on your intention. Focus on your breath. Let go of your limitations. Allow yourself to be open. Wonderful. On your next exhalation, release Garudasana and step back into high lunge. Reach higher before planting the hands into the earth and step back into plank. Take Chaturanga or skip it and we'll meet in down or facing dog. Beautiful work. Gaze towards your toes, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale and exhale, lower the knees down to the mat and come back into child's pose. Inhale and exhale, roll up to sitting and lift the hips up so that they're over your knees. We're going to take camel pose, Ustrasana. And I'll show you three different variations here. So the first variation is to place the hands on the lower back and coming into a back bend, arching up and looking at the ceiling. If you want to take it a step further, Place the hands on the heels and release the head back, extending the arms and allowing for the shoulders to open. If you want to take it another step further, lift one hand off of your heel and bring your thumb to your heart, creating a half prayer pose. In this camel pose, we are bringing our energy to our center activating the anahata chakra our heart chakra open your heart up to the universe allow a sense of calm to overwhelm your body inhale and exhale gently release your camel pose bringing your hands back to your back and coming up over your knees. Now sit down on your heels and take child's pose, reversing that nice stretch of the spine, reaching the hands forward, welcoming breath into your chest, welcoming positivity and light. Inhale and exhale, let it go. Inhale and roll yourself up onto all fours. Tuck the toes under and send the hips back into downward dog. Inhale, gaze front and exhale, raise the heels, bend the knees and hop into a seated position on your mat. Roll all the way down onto your back, coming into our final posture, Shavasana. With our eyes closed, palms facing the ceiling or stacked on top of your heart, feet falling easily out to either side, neck and shoulder relaxed, feeling the breath move throughout the body, letting yourself melt into the earth. Be present here. Don't let the mind wander. Just simply be in this moment, letting yourself let go.
beautiful. If you're ready to finish off your practice with me today, go ahead and flutter the eyes open and begin to find movement throughout the body once again. Roll over onto one side and come up to a seated position on your mat. Have the legs crossed in an easy seat and bring the palms to Anjali Mudra. Thank you so much for taking this time for your body today, for your practice. Bow down to your own heart. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to help Mermaid Yoga grow. We hope to see you again on the mat soon. Have a beautiful rest of your day.